World Police and Fire Games need a new home. Montreal was supposed to host the event in 2017, but their mayor canceled it over a labor dispute. Now a Calgary man who's won three gold medals at the Games wants us to step up as replacement host. Sean Fernet reports. There's a lot of power in Sunny Singh's kicks. And a lot of enthusiasm in his pitch. I need the support for everyone, law enforcement agencies, uh, citizens, Canadian citizens, or even uh, outside the country to help me outside the petition and bring this World Police game back to Calgary. The former Alberta sheriff was a three-time gold... ...medalist in Taekwondo in the World Police and Fire game. Now he wants Calgary to host, like we did in 1997, when 6,600 volunteers welcomed 10,000 athletes in dozens of sports. It was supposed to be in Montreal next summer, giving the city a $100 million economic boost, but the local firefighters union called on colleagues around the world to boycott over a pension dispute. You have some threats from some of the, the union, uh, union force, so I said, okay, you don't want it? First of all, it was for you. You don't want them? I'll pull the plug. The games were offered to Toronto, but city council said no. Now talks are on with Los Angeles. A games official says, to be considered as a host city, you must have the support of the local government, the police and fire chiefs, and the rank and file personnel. Once you have all of those things, we will consider a bid. A tall order with just a year to go. I understand it's a very short time period, but still we are a year away. And if it's going to happen, it takes one day, we can change it. So, but I need the support. Sousa Singh is making a documentary on his quest. Her organization, which promotes diversity in media and film, is helping him collect names for an online petition. We are just hoping that we will get the support of everybody in Calgary and in Canada so we, so Canada, Canada doesn't, does not drop the ball. Plus the fact that, you know, I think Calgary can do with a bit of a boost right now. Singh has meetings with local law enforcement coming up, and if he's successful, he hopes to go for gold again in 2017 in his hometown. Hey! Hey! Sean Frenette, CTV News, Calgary. We have a link to Sunny Singh's petition on our website, calgary.ctvnews.ca.